Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had some downtime and I decided to dig into my son's Bugatti, the baby two Bugatti for Enzo. And this thing comes with a manual bigger than my most cars. And tons and tons of information in here and a pretty cool history. I'm starting to learn a lot about how this car was born. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of the car. 1926, Ettore Bugatti and Jean Bugatti decided to build a car for his youngest son, Roland, for his fourth birthday. And that's how a baby Bugatti was born. But all the visitors coming to the factory, they fell in love with the car. So he ended up making 500 units of these baby two Bugattis from 1927 to 1936, if my memory serves me right. And it's 75% scale of the Type 35 Bugatti, which was by far the best race car of all time. I think they made a thousand of them. It's hard to believe in 1920s, Ettore Bugatti built a car that did 125 miles an hour and 135 horsepower. And now this is carbon fiber, baby Bugatti 2, fully electric. And you don't even want to see the wireframe of all the modules. This thing's so complicated. It's got a battery with a digital screen. I don't even know what does what. It has a brake fluid and it's got a removable adjustable pet paddles there and you know what's the coolest thing they sent me an invitation to bugatti's owner club hey they didn't even send this to me when i spent three million dollars on a chiron but you spent eighty thousand on a bugatti baby bugatti electric and you're all of a sudden one of two thousand members in the world one of the most exclusive and oldest this was created in 1920s and I didn't even get this invite when I bought a Chiron or a Veyron, but pretty cool. I'm gonna make sure I fill this out and join the club. So what does that come with? Like with the vents and stuff? And... I don't know, I hope so. Uh, but here's something really cool. So you got a speed key here that's very similar to my Chiron. And this will unlock the horsepower from a one and a half horsepower to 13 and a half horsepower, if I'm not mistaken. And then you got two ignition keys, baby two. And this is what I'm gonna be using when Enzo drives this car. This is a shut off switch, boom, boom. And he'll be locked right in, can't go anywhere. And that's just a keychain. Well, this car was imported with a speed limiter. I originally ordered the car because I got Wow, by the horsepower. This is the Vitesse, which is the fastest one they make. There's different variations and it does 45 miles an hour. But then they call me and says, uh, Mr. Koshbin, we can't import this car until we put a speed limiter on it. And now it only does 20 miles an hour, if I'm not mistaken. And that was a, yeah, that wasn't a good phone call. But I had already ordered the car and now I'm trying to figure out how can I make it go 45 miles an hour? Hey, I'm just gonna drive it right here in my parking lot. So no harm, no foul, but uh, Got the diagram. It takes an engineer to figure this out. So Nate, we'll switch. I'll grab the camera. You'll come here, figure this out. <laughs> Even if I did, I don't think. <laughs> well, let's take it out and see how fast it goes. And this paint job they did on this car, immaculate. You know what? Let me test the battery first. Whoa. We got the headlights. All right, let's see if the battery has juice. 100%. Very nice, great success. All right, I don't know what this yellow button does. And just like the Type 35 original cars, it's all closed and open by belts. Just like a pony. This car is solid. Comes with real headlights. Look at the steering. Power brakes and really cool fuel tank. Nice charger outlet. Now, how old do you think Enzo's gonna be to drive this by himself? Mm, I would give him two more years. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, as usual, I gotta move a car. I don't think I could squeeze right behind that P1. What do you think? I think we need to move it. Last time I drove this Bugatti in white and they delivered it to my house and tried it. I lost my hat twice. So this time I'm gonna make sure my hat's not going anywhere. <laughs> Guys ready? Oh my god, but I still can't get in. I may have to remove that steering wheel. There we go. So there is different modes. So turtle mode is one and a half horsepower, and then you got rabbit mode, is about five horsepower, and then you got the speed key. 
This takes you all the way to 13 and a half horsepower, which is super fast for a super light car. Very nice. All right, let's see. Handbrake, down, drive. Oh, we need to go reverse. Whoa. Well, this is a turtle mode. Really like a turtle. I can literally walk as fast as you. Hey, I could eat a salad <laughs> while I do this. All right, I'm falling asleep, guys. Let's go to rabbit mode. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It's still kind of slow because my speed key is not working because there's a speed limiter. But we're gonna figure it out. All right, guys, are you guys ready? I'm gonna do the launch control. Never mind, it doesn't have one. I'm just gonna step on it. Woo! 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 Man, this is crazy. Woo! Oh my God. I'm gonna get in trouble in this car. I can't imagine Enzo driving this car. Holy moly. Woo! So much fun. That's all with the speed limiter. Imagine with no speed limiter, 45 miles an hour, Woo. a lot of thrills. All right, guys, that will do it for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoy my baby Bugatti too. And the challenge is on. I gotta find that speed limiter. But till then, be safe, be well. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago. So I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in great location and repurpose it. While one state for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession. You may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.